You guys ready to see why I've been waiting years to come here? First of all, we'll start with this view. Listen, this is North Carolina. Grandmommy used to have a house, well she still does in the country, and the little room was right in the creek like this, one of her bedrooms that I stayed in. Look, Minara. Just look. Isn't it spectacular? Wow. There you go, you guys. Not one of those little roadside attractions. The Emerald Village, a real working mine. There's lots of things you can do here. You can actually go real, like, um, rock hunting in different areas they have. Holy cow. Can you guys see down there? That's a cave. That's a cave and water. And you hear the running water, right? <laughs> Holy cow. Right? <gasps> look at that. That's spectacular, isn't it? So, like... Oh my gosh. Like if it, especially uh, if you look up and see the trees just sitting there like that on the edge. Uh, I'm not mistaken. I think there's all kinds of things you do on here. Maybe they have the nighttime... Wait, let's take a selfie. Nighttime lantern tours or something. Or what if you could ride in there in a minecart? Ha <laughs> That would be so cool. <laughs> I feel like Minecraft. That's the North Carolina Mining Museum. That's the gym mine. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa. is right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the same, you know, but different. Big. Yeah, that's the Mineral Museum, which it would be beautiful to look in there too, but we probably don't have time. Wow, this is awesome. I wonder if you just buy the buckets in here. Let's go see. These are the choices. We pay for them down there? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the choices, honey. Well, this is like pretty much one of my favorite stones. Yeah, hands. Um, you buy the buckets down here, and should they have them on display so you can actually see them? But the, all the buckets they add, you know, they embellish it with stones and the more bigger buckets you buy, the more bigger stones they put in it. And they do have the natural buckets though, where they don't add anything, so you might not find anything. But I have to do one of those just cause. What about you, Minara? Yes. I like mica. It says there's a lot of mica in there probably. I like mica a lot. Oh, look at it. There it is. Are you happy? I'm so happy. Are you super happy? I was hoping we could do something like this. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this at like Dollywood and stuff, but we haven't really seen, done authentic. Yeah. There's the prices again. Oh, there's all the buckets ready to go. See? See them up there, Menara? The $10 bucket, $20 bucket, $35 bucket. Hmm. Look at that giant bucket. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got the uh, $20 bucket, right? $35 bucket. <laughs> Thir three pounds, 30 pounds. <laughs> and we picked a spot here, look how perfect it is. And we didn't get the native bucket because we said basically, you know, it'd be better to get a 35 dollar bucket. So anyway, that's what we did. And we have little uh, gem identification charts and bags to put our stuff in. Thank you so much. Oh, I've done it again. Lovely. <laughs> He's like, they're all rocks except for this one right here, the smoky quartz. I had no idea. <laughs> So the thing is you have to identify your gems too. So you, that's your little thing there. It's kind of like when you went looking for shark, know, teeth. shark teeth. Yeah, so you carefully take a bucket, uh, I mean a scoop, you know. They just get it from their minds, but of course they add the gems in it. He said like these big ones like this are just rocks and just to throw them away. Or oh, you throw them out there, boop, like that. Yep, like that. See, that's a rock, that's a rock. Well, that's probably good. You don't want too much. Remember, just like in the in the well, ocean. One second. Yeah, you're gonna get a little dirty. I mean, we're going to the hotel and washing laundry and showering, so it's okay, Minara. We're gonna wash your pants tonight. Really? Yeah. No. Come on. So now, side to side, smush it around to get all the dirt I off of paper. it. Paper. So you're trying to get all the dirt off of it. Move it around with your fingers. Can your braces get wet? Of course they. Keep going. Get all the dirt out of it. Not too hard. Oh, look, and you just uncover all those things. You know, a lot of them are really rock. All right. Let me put my hair back. And uh, you have your little sheet here, so you kind of maybe probably want to familiarize yourself with this paper first, so you kind of know what to look for. And see that down there where it says quartz in the bottom left? This is one, and it might not necessarily look, but then see how it has the blue pieces in it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, he said it could take like 30 minutes or so, depending on how much digging you do, like how much looking you do. 
If you just basically, you could probably keep anything cool looking, Minara. It doesn't matter, you know? Yeah. We have little bags to put it in right here. And it's a big old bucket. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. This is a giant you bag. They really think like that you could find that many good stuff in there. <gasps> What's that pretty one? This one? That pretty orange one. Oh my uh, gosh, is that a topaz? A citrine. <gasps> right there. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty, I Isn't love that. It? That's a citrine or a smoky quartz? Citrine? No idea. Oh, garnet's pretty. So, like, are all of these ones with little sparkles in them? Please? Yeah, I think it's this right here. Just maybe quartz or... Uh, Is it just rock? Let me see it. Like, yeah, he said if it has shiny stuff in it, it's something. That actually just has a mica in it. He said the rocks are like these right here, Minara. See? Look. See these? These are rocks. You know, they're rocks. But there's like a rock in there. a lot of rocks right here. You know what? How about we, we have two bags, right? How smart am I? One bag for the stuff we know is good, another bag we'll ask them up front. Sound good? Okay. This is so fun. I know. What did you do? I just splashed it on myself. Wow. Aren't you good? It's okay. You know me, I'm messy. Oh, yeah, and then there's these samples right there, Minara. That's everything. Yeah, that's why so. I chose this. Good idea. Now, mm, I'm just gonna get, you know, <gasps> look. Wait. It's like a little, um, ruby oh, or something. I just have the strip all over me. Look at this. See, you're just gonna get messy. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, look at that one. This is gonna fall over. <gasps> look at that. It's like a piece of glass. So weird. <laughs> and this one? Yes, it is. Well, you're gonna take forever. We're, this okay, is gonna I'm take just, forever. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just commenting. Keep out the ones that are pretty. Yeah, keep out the ones that are pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and when we can go home and we can fill like, up the cute I little jar. If I can't tell if it's a rock or not, then why do I need it, right? Exactly, unless it's pretty. And then I said we can just get like a container these are all fit in, and it'll be our, our, it'll be our, our souvenir from here, right? Yeah, like, I don't see anything else in here that I want. I mean, this is someone's bucket that they were done with, and I guess they um, had a lot of mica and didn't want it. Like, that's probably what's in the natural bucket, but I love mica. Look oh, at this. Amy. What? Holy cow, shelf. that giant piece of amethyst? Yeah. Oh my god. That's gorgeous. That is so cool. I didn't I love the find orange anything colors. this Holy big. cow, and I'm just telling you how much we love amethyst. That's awesome. It's so cool. Look, Minara. That doesn't look like a normal rock right here. What is it? What does it look like up there? Yeah, it looks like, like an emerald. Oh, there's no way it's an emerald. <laughs> um, anything up there look like that? Hmm, I don't know. We'll have to ask them what that is. It doesn't look like a rock. Yeah, but there's no way it's an emerald. Yeah, if it was a natural bucket you found one of those, then... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <gasps> Menard just found a topaz. Oh, that's a, that's a so, so, oh, sodalite. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. A topaz and a sodalite, see? Sodalite and topaz. I love those, they're so pretty. Wow, those are so pretty. They are. This is like time consuming. <laughs> no wonder they stopped selling like buckets. Nothing. I'm gonna take the rocks out real quick. Let's get this rock. Uh, quartz, and I love quartz. That's the most beautiful piece of quartz. Look at it. Look at it. You're welcome. Quartz, quartz is very special, you know. Yeah. That's, whoa. Anara, put it in your bag. I'll put it in your bag. Uh, you guys, these are big buckets, I'm going to tell you now. Uh, if you're really particular, it's going to take a long time. But the reason he said it's a $35 bucket, that's when they put more of the bigger stones, like the quartz we just got and everything. Nara, look what I got. Oh my god. What's that called? I don't know. It's but it's so on the pretty. sheet. I love it. Oh my god, this is dripping all over me. So we're just kind of just picking out anything really cool, you know, and different. Like this. Like this. Like this. The little, a lot of them pieces are really, really tiny. You know, I guess it's a more expensive one since they do supplement the buckets. See, like that. What is this? What, 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 what? That was like a cliff. Oh, that's pretty. What is that? No idea. Okay, but it's pretty. And look what I have in mind. It's a beautiful purple. Yeah. Okay, guys, look. Look, look, look. 
What is this? What is this, Minara? Like Corundum? Yeah, because it has the markings Amazonite through it. Amazonite or something? Oh, Amazonite, maybe? It's beautiful, isn't it? So, so beautiful. Here's my bag so far, guys. Let me see your bag so far, Minara. I think you can take your bag up there and I'll tell you. Ooh, I'm going to definitely ask what that green one is. Yeah. Oh, yours is big. Yeah. And look, we've only done that much so far. These all just came out of one scoop. It's 30 minutes till. They close in 30 minutes. Holy cow, are you kidding? Beautiful. Ooh, 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 pretty. This one always has like pretty. I love rose. that orangey color. Ooh, look, Minara. Oh my god. Take That's that. Interesting. <laughs> Woohoo! There we go. Yeah. There we go. We're making splashes. <gasps> <gasps> oh now, we were getting God. towards the bottom of the bucket, so. Holy crap. <laughs> we're getting. Oh. Look at Minara, look at. It's like, like amber. It's so cool. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> let me do that pink one. Dude. I love that. That's, That's so, so pretty. Cool. Here you go. <gasps> look! A crystal. I love crystals. Now we each got a nice big oh crystal. Whoa, look at all those. Yeah. Ah! A bug flew my eye. Okay. And then there's mine, look. That's a lot of gems. $35 and a lot of fun. You just got all the big ones somehow. I mean, it just happened, you know, which is cool. I'm soaking wet. <laughs> oh, man, that was a workout. That was, yeah, it was like an hour and it was fun though, wasn't it? Yeah. So fun. That's what that one you were wondering about. Oh, nah, I guess I'll have this one. Thank you. I just don't know what the green I don't know what the green one is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Rainbow Moonstone. Rainbow oh. Moonstone. Cool. They're similar in that they mm. both have right, that the iridescent shiny. color. Oh, but, cool. Yeah. So that's what's inside it, or what, is this just a rock with that in it, or is that? It's basically just a rock with that in okay, it. Okay, yes. with the rainbow moonstone. Though, in it. That's cool. I like that inside there. No, the rock is the same as the moonstone actually. Oh, They're okay. both just felt. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it has water trapped in it in those places. Yeah, those little speckled. You, she has some like little teeny white yeah. ones with black spots. She said they're like leopards. They're called Dalmatian. Jasper. Oh, that was so fun. Let's so go up fun. there real quick. Go to the bathroom, buy Minara her ice cream. Okay. I, just, I don't actually want to try it. I'm curious. Yeah, just to try it because, you know. Cool. Yeah. Look, Minara. Wow. How cool would that be? <laughs> It'd be really cool. I was thinking when I was doing the gem mining, I'm like, I want to do a surprise giveaway. And I, I thought about doing stones, but then I saw the cool, I think pretty much one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And Minara's gonna go in there and buy it, and we're gonna do a surprise giveaway for it. Okay, you guys, here's a surprise giveaway. You ready for this? It's real mica. I love mica. It's mica, and it's laminated, and it's a bookmark. Isn't that awesome? That's so awesome. I mean, I love it. I got one for myself, too. I just absolutely love it. And we're going to do this surprise giveaway. It's gonna run from... Um, a week from the date this video is aired. All you have to do to enter is go over to patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, type up Sea Cruisers, or click the link at the end of any of our videos, the newer ones where it says bonus videos, and look at our Patreon page, read it, but basically just look at the tiers, like there's different things like sailboats and private yachts and stuff like that, and see which one you would sign up for if you could. If you're planning on becoming a patron, which one you are going to sign up for, or if you are a patron, which one you did sign up for, and if you wish you could be or hope to in the future be, you know, like I said, just comment on which one you like the best, because uh, they all have like special little things, and we we took a lot of time to make the little categories, and um, I'm just like waving the waving the mic around in the in the thing. <laughs> comment below here your answer, and then we'll pick or randomly pick winners. Yes, there's gonna be more than one. I'm not sure how many because I got six of these and I don't know if who's keeping one like me or Elizabeth or Minara but I would at least imagine there'd be two at least maybe three and um, we're probably not gonna do international only because it's very fragile and I don't really trust that it wouldn't break good luck everyone and we'll, we'll reply to the winners comment here on YouTube 
when the week is over. This is like really, really super surprisingly delicious. Like, I mean like really good. I think it was only, it was only $2. It's it was like so, so good. good. It's like so much caramel. So definitely recommend checking it out if you, if you go. Do you recommend going to the Emerald Mine? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. How would you like it? Scale of one to 10. Mm -hmm. 10, <laughs> definitely 10. There's so much to do there, you can spend a whole day. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a museum, there's a country store, different oh, yeah. from the other store. You can go look in the mine. I don't think you'll go inside it, but there's a lot of stuff to do there. So fun. I definitely recommend it. And don't go to the fake Emerald Mine. No, I'm joking. Don't go to that one unless you want to, you know? <laughs> yeah. But the other one, I think, you know, is more, oh, it's a real mine, so. Yeah. Cruise, play the day away at Port Canaveral here in Asheville, North Carolina. If I was next to that room, I would request to be moved. I'm doing laundry right now. I'm gonna put a load in of everything I need for the next three days until I get home. Wow, they're loud. <laughs> After our experience at Yotella at night, in the middle of the night with everybody screaming, I just wouldn't wanna have to hear that at bedtime, you know. I brought my own laundry detergent too. I was going to bring it on the trip, but I didn't, but I bought it last night in uh, Maryland or Delaware, wherever we were. Harris Teeter. This is what I use at home because when I bought that, uh, Laundry detergent back at Amish View Inn. Remember that, you guys? It did not clean well. Like, I washed the laundry, but it didn't smell really clean, you know? And I've been using this stuff since, like, 1999. It's the only thing that really gets my clothes clean. I love it. Here's our room. This is the first time I'm seeing something like this. Uh, they don't do rubber duckies here. And we stayed at this sleep in last year when we came up here. And the rubber duckies this we've seen is only in Staunton, Virginia. And it's cute. My bed, her bed, I have a load of laundry in, it's going. This is the bathroom, it's really nice. I mean, it's fine, you know, nice usual space. I like sleeping. It's a joining room, but I don't care. Everything is good. Oh, let me show you the view. It's always warm in the sleeping rooms, but this air conditioner works really well. Oh, there we go. I don't want you just to see my glare. <laughs> And Mount Pisgah. That really tall one over there with the tower on it. You probably can't see the tower, but it's the tallest one over there. That's Mount Pisgah. And there's a really good Chinese restaurant right over there on that road from like just right on the corner. It used to be called Asiana and now it's called Yao, like Y A O. And I just mentioned that because we always used to go there when I was a teenager and the kids went with my mom and it was special. Just a reminder, guys, I we lived in Asheville for 20 years, me and Elizabeth did, from 19. 89 to 2009 and then we moved to Florida and we came back last year to see my mom and she passed away and we have vlogs of those on our channel with the Donahoes which is at the end of this video it'll say our other channel we made a whole vlog series of doing fun things in Asheville and everything not knowing that our mom was not well so it's kind of like a sentimental we also have a video on that channel uh, talking about how our mom died. If you guys want to check that out, she's a very beautiful, special person. We cleaned out the car. Howdy! My little skeleton. We got the laundry in, and now we're getting ready to do Menar's hair. You know it fades. I yep. still have to do because my roots are like horrible right now. It actually faded right away. So what she's thinking of doing? I actually think she's gonna do it right. She's actually gonna. We're gonna go to celebration where we get her hair done. Yeah. Should have it dyed, bleached. bleached. And then it's going to be black and red all over. And uh, I was going to show you guys, I almost forgot. My finger. Remember, if you guys are new to this vlog today, you can go to uh, our channel right here. Click on Sea Cruisers. Then click on Playlist and click on Land and Sea Cruise Vlogs. You'll see every video in order. And if you watch the first video, you'll see that I hurt my finger. I squished it in the door the week that we were leaving for our trip and had to delay the trip by a day because I actually had a surgery on it. And in the first videos, for the first two and a half weeks, I wore the finger uh, wrappings. And then a couple of days ago in New York City, I actually had stitches taken out. So all of you guys have been following along. I was gonna show you the process. I mean, show you how it's looking. There's a whole, okay, first of all, at the emergency room in New York, New York City, Mount Sinai, they're like, wait a minute, I've never seen anything like the stitch job. But it, it was Orlando Hospital. It was a great hospital. They did a great job. They put a piece of like metal foil where my nail would be because of my surgery. They actually removed the nail and opened it up and cleaned out the bone and sewed it back up. 
and that hole there in the foil is from where the stitches were to the bottom here point to my um, cuticle area where they went to there underneath the cuticle and then there was one right there on the tip right there right there that went into so cool. the middle so kind of like Actually, if you were watching all these vlogs, you know what it looked like because if I showed you in the hospital, if not, you guys can go back and look. But it was in New York City the like the last day, anyway. It hasn't been hurting, you know. It feels a little tight, and the, the metal stuff isn't stuck on, but my skin kind of grew around it, so it's fine. I can get it wet now. I love that. I don't have to wrap it up really good when I shower and keep it out of the water. And yeah, and then in New York City before the cruise, I also got a brand new tattoo, tattoos. And I was going to show you the progress of that. It's actually been, what's today, Monday? Yeah, it's only been, it's been 10 days, okay? And it healed faster than any other tattoo I've ever had. This Pikachu tattoo, Pikachu Pokemon, Pikachu as Totoro. I got that in Orlando two years ago, and it healed nicely. No problems. I had his color touched up, his tummy and his face, last year in Asheville because he wasn't the right Pikachu yellow. And then I got this one here in Asheville last year from Vegan Ink. It's Elder Scrolls Online, Evan Hart Pack, that's what that is. But it's a different variety, like a tattered flag, which I like a lot, and a dragon. But see the white stuff on the bottom and everything, it didn't heal right. I found out from Jessica, who did this new tattoo I'm about to show you, that... I love Jessica! I know. People, when they're tattoo artists, can go deep. You know, like they push really hard and they go over it with a lot of ink, which can cause it to get really scabby and can scar. And I took care of this one, just like I took care of all the other ones. I'm very, I do want to take care of my stuff. She's so like OCD about it. Wash twice a day with Dial. Put a and ointment really thin over twice a day. Don't get it wet. I mean, I just wet in the shower, but not soak it. So anyway, that one didn't heal that well because she did it so thickly. But it's okay. I can get it touched up, but I like it like that. It kind of looks like shading. And then, the new ones. We have the little soot balls. That's what they're called, Menara soot balls? We have a little soot sprites, three of those, with their little sugar candies, like they have in Japan. And day, I mean, after the third day, this layer of skin started coming off perfectly. And then the um, ghost, well, it's a cup of tea, the tea bag, and the ghost steam. And that's how it's looking right now. It looks great. It healed perfectly, absolutely perfectly, and I love it so much. I really love it. And that was her original artwork. She drew it last Halloween, and no one claimed it and I asked her I told her I've been wanting a pumpkin but I don't want just a plain pumpkin and I love Halloween but I can never ever find anything the right Halloween because if you want me I get a tattoo I know what I want and it feels right and that's it I wouldn't get a random tattoo just get a tattoo it took me like a year to, to think of every single one and I already know the one I'm going to get when our turns 18 we're going to get it together oh yeah um so I saw it because she showed it to me and I was love at first sight because I love tea, I love pumpkin. The pumpkin's cute because he's a mug. The little ghost is so adorable. And it was her original artwork and it's the only one that she has done and I have it and it's awesome. New York City and she's in London now. She works in London but she just came to New York City to do like a feature artist thing. Ooh, gosh that looks good. I'm hungry. What did we eat today? Oh yeah, we had breakfast hotel. I hope this one's as good but I doubt it. It wasn't like that last year when we were here. And also, oh, Wendy's, I had a junior cheeseburger deluxe, and she had a chicken, fried chicken sandwich, right? Yeah. And then we had that shake from Sheets. And then the car after the emerald mine, I ate a bag of pea chips. Have you guys seen those? They're like, they look like peas, like long, you know, peas, like peas in a pod, but they're made of pea flour or something. They're really good. Healthy as far as chips go. <laughs> Ten minutes later... <laughs> I smushed my finger and I looked and the, the foil's coming up and we weren't sure if the foils would stay on or not but we figured since it wasn't stuck on there it might come off and it needs to come off so I'm going to take it off and I'll show you when we're done because you don't want to see this probably you might but it's done it just came right off there it is that's a nail that's a finger with no nail on it Ew. <laughs> Sorry if you guys don't want to see that, but there's my finger with no nail at all. Apparently now we have to drive down the road to the store because Minara's disgusting mouse in a jar over there. Pickled mouse. Why do you call him pickle? <laughs> you guys don't want to see that up close. Needs some more alcohol put in it. Okay, laundry's in the dryer. That was quick. 
And uh, look, my Max Brenner Jeez. chocolate by the bald man chocolate shot was in there. I rinsed it out and then my new cup. Sheets. I just like it. That's all. <laughs> These are my souvenirs. They're going to my souvenir pile. I have boxes full of stuff that I'm bringing home and I cannot wait to unpack it and be like show everybody. I Look can't. what I got. Look what I got. Look what I got. And one of the things I'm most excited about of course is trying all my pickled goodies from Amish country. I have a pickled goodie. <laughs> 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 That's gross. All that stuff right there is my goodies to take home. <laughs> Look how beautiful you guys, the mountains. Volcano. It does. <laughs> we just went to the grocery store and I didn't bring the camera in. I got juice for pickles. <laughs> it's just my mouth. I ate them pickles. And I got my favorite pimento cheese in the whole world. They only, they've only ever seen in Asheville. Boom. Our pride, premium pimento cheese. And you can tell it looks like real cheese. See? Wow. Not that yeah. orange stuff. It's delicious. And last year I got a container of it. I'm going to put it in my fridge. Oh. I have any selection of red hardly like compared to what I'm used to so I got ready for this hot dog buns. <laughs> she got hot dog buns. They were soft and look at that. Ten for ten dollars you get ten packs. It must be a lot of hot oh dogs. Oh my god. Here, all I'm gonna say. Why not five for five dollars? Yeah.